Hello everyone, this is Aaron Fitch from ATF Gaming and welcome back to some more Motorsport Manager. Today is the debut of our brand new driver, Pietro Fittipaldi. If you missed last episode, here's a brief recap on what happened. Nope, stop. You don't want to drive this car anymore? Done. You are replaced, Kevin. You are replaced, I'm putting Pietro in the... So yeah, Kevin said the wrong words at the wrong time. And here we are, Pietro's here. Yes! Upon reflection, really, Kevin's result is mostly my fault. But he said the wrong thing at the wrong time, and he gave up that position at the end. So I don't care anymore. Uh, Pietro, we got three races left in the season. This is your tryout for next season. This is probably as good as you're going to get um, of an opportunity next season. Kevin, I mean, he might get signed by somebody. That'd be great because I still have his contract to deal with. But moving on, interview with BBC... Simple question, Roman. I'm pretty sure I answered that exact question last. Alright, demotion. I am not happy about this, boss. You're making a huge mistake. You, I should have never been demoted. But Pietro is all like, woo, yeah. This is my chance to show everybody what I'm made of. I won't disappoint you. I hope not, because Kevin sure has done enough of that the last couple weekends. Yes, am I overreacting? Probably. Um, But, you know, I don't, yeah. Just get, yeah. I, I don't know anymore. Um, none of these guys are worth my time. Reject, 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 reject. I can't wait until I can get some better pit crew members. Because that also didn't help things last race. I, it wasn't last race that we had a pit crew issue. I don't remember, actually. Um, a whole bunch of people who need replacing. Um, this guy is good to go back in so I can use this guy as a tire guy. Um... We need this guy on the bench. We need this guy on the bench. I don't really have anybody else to put in. Do we have another rear jack person? Yes, we do. Rear jack there. That's about as good as we're going to get with the situation we have. So, uh, I can put this fixing guy back in. So, yeah. There's that. Scouting is going along great. I'm sure we're scouting a bunch of people. Hey, we're scouting Pietro's uh, brother. Enzo, is that is that a brother or is that a relative? I don't know. But we're scouting him right now. Realistically, none of the people I'm scouting will ever be signed by us. But nonetheless, we move forward. What do we got going on this week? We got car repair being... Oh, we got a political vote. Uh, so let's see. What is that political vote? Points for the top six. That's a horrible idea, so I'm glad I have some additional voting power. Um, so let's improve some stuff on the car here, shall we? Um, not too fussed about reliability, but we'll throw some stuff on there. Um, I, I, I actually take all this crap off, because we need to be improving not the reliability. I mean, we will, but we want to improve this, because we want it to be the best it can be for our baseline next year. Um... Let's see, that's a decent ways off. That's a decent ways off. Um, we can do that one. And that one. Brakes are probably the next thing I'm going to throw on the... Um, the new part list. But um, I don't know if we're going to have a chance that, for that here. But we got a new vote. Points for the top six. We are very much against this. Why in the world is Claire Williams for this and Toto Wolf against this? Wolf would be somebody who would benefit from this most likely. And Claire Williams, you would never get a point in your lifetime, Claire, if you voted for this. But whatever, I'm voting against this with all my voting power. So, realistically, this should not go through. I don't know why anybody would want this. Who else voted for that? Is that the McLaren guy? Is that the McLaren guy? I'm pretty sure that's the McLaren guy. So I don't know why why the McLaren guy would be voting for that either. That was the McLaren guy. Right? Let me just double check here. No, it wasn't the McLaren guy. Who was it then? It was it was the Racing Point guy. Yeah, that's even. I mean, that's more realistic than the McLaren, but. No, that's still a bad idea, but whatever. Moving forward here, are we going to have part getting finished before the race? Same day, so I don't know what will be first. Is the suspension done before? 
Uh, no, nope. All right, so we'll get things set up for the race here, and I'll see you guys in practice. All right, really good base setup here at Phoenix. So we will maybe try to tweak the handling just a bit. I don't really know which direction I want to go. Um, maybe to do that and bring the B back. Wrong way in. There we go. But I'm going to send you out on a long stint. Longish. Um, there we go. Long. Um, long stint for Roman. But we got a little bit of tweaking to do with Pietro here. So this is the first time Pietro is actually going to work on a setup that he's going to use. So this is excellent despite being... Not on the line, so we're gonna bring that back just a little bit. Handling, I'm thinking, you know, we might want to go this way a bit. Not really sure though. We'll do that and just see what happens. Do another qualifying lap and see where that puts us. All right, wrong way on handling, but the speed was perfect, so we know where the speed needs to be now. But we went the wrong way on handling, so we need to go towards this. Um, Or the softer handling. So, like right here. Now we'll do that. Bring the speed back to right there. We'll do one more qualifying lap. That should be enough to get the knowledge, and then we should be all set. So, I will do the rest of practice here, tweak the setups just a little bit, and I will see you guys in qualifying. Okay, I just wanted to pause here at the end of the session because this is the first time in my history of playing this game I have ever done this. Excellent, 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 excellent. Across the board, every single setup, every single driver, every single little tiny piece of it is excellent across the board. I have never done that in this game. And it's at my home Grand Prix, home Grand I can blind. Our home Grand Prix, and the team's home Grand Prix as well. So that is an excellent practice session right there. All right, so install lap. We are sixth and ninth. Very happy with that. Not going to worry about another lap. So we will move on to Q2. All right, so we are sitting pretty good here in Q2 as well. Um, Gujan and Fittipaldi are both almost a second over the cut line. So I'm... I mean, I'm not even going to send them out again. There's no need. No need at all. I, I'm very happy with where they're at right now. Fittipaldi is very close to Roman as well. So we are sitting pretty good here. So I will keep an eye on things. Make sure nobody jumps us. Uh, nope, doesn't look like it. Unless if Kvyat jumps us. He doesn't make it in, but he doesn't jump us. So we are on the Q3 very easily. So I will see you guys there. All right, Q3, we got plenty of tires. We've only used two this entire session. So we got five sets of tires to work with. So I'm not, not concerned about tires at all. And there was um, some concern about rain in the race. So we will probably not need that many soft, soft sets anyway, but you never know. Uh, Pietro has been having issues getting his tire wear, uh, his tire heating, excuse me, to a good spot to get his t lap started. So we'll see if that impairs him at all. I uh, actually know it definitely is. Plus, this car in front of him is not helping either. Uh, so definitely not a good lap for Pietro there. Really not a good lap for Amon either. Both of these guys were within a second of the pole in Q2. So I'm, I'm rather shocked by how slow they are right now, but... Pietro especially, um, but we have another lap to get it done, so we will wait until three minutes to go here. We'll send Pietro out first to make sure he gets a decent track, and then we will send Roman out now and see where this ends up putting us, because not real happy with where we're at right now. But it does look like we got a clean track for both of these guys, so that should help. All right, but let's see. We are looking for green, green, green. 
especially this first sector, should be much better for both of them. Yeah, Pietro Green, Roman Green. Roman had a better time first sector. We are looking for more greens. Green second sector for both. Roman is still trending about a tenth ahead. Seventh and seventh. So seventh and eighth for these two fine folks. This is... This is nice. This is nice. Fittipaldi's within like a tenth of a second. We're not having you no know, huge gaps or anything. And this is nice. This is nice. Does he have any perks? I don't know. I don't think he has any perks like uh, like Kevin did. Because the, the one good thing about Kevin is he had that um good good starting perk, I believe. So that's one thing we're gonna miss. Pietro actually had a better time and actually both of them had a better time in Q2, but that's fine. Uh, like I said, we do have some rain coming up, so we might be starting on enters here. No, we're starting on softs. There is rain gonna come around lap. Oh dear. Lap like 13 ish. And I know these tires are not gonna make it 13 laps. So I'm going to take soft tire knowledge in, or the super soft tires, because I'm probably just going to go on to another set of soft before we hit the rain. Because there's no way these are making it 13 laps. But um, I'm not going to push on tire wear this time, because I really want to try to get them to last as long as they can. And it, it actually looks like the rest of the field kind of does a similar thing as well. So, I guess I shouldn't be as worried about it. But five laps are out. Fittipaldi, great start. Oh my goodness, that's a great start. He's up in the first. This man. Okay, let's just review the last time this happened. <laughs> the last time we had a great start and got up in the first, it was uh, Magnuson, I'm pretty sure. But he wrecked later in the race. So let, let's hope Pietro does not um, have that fate come on to him as well. But absolutely flying start for Pietro. Roman is having a good start as well up to fifth. Bad starts for both of the Ferrari guys. So that that is definitely why we are doing pretty well here. But we'll bring the fuel down just a little bit. But I'm happy to keep the tires where they are right now. Hulkenberg is up here already and he got to start on fresh set of tires so but again we are looking at lap 13 or 14 ish to make it to wet tires so realistically we're gonna have to hit again for soft another set of super softs let's get a better kind of lost my good angle here there we go I lost my good angle all right there we go but we're still first, by the way. Just, just wanted to point that out. Hamilton is catching a little bit, but, I mean, it's not outrageous. Roman fell down to eighth, but that that's not bad at all. I mean, both the Renaults are there, which isn't great. But, um, but yeah, what a debut. What a debut for Pietro Fittipaldi, and he's actually gaining some time. Kind of going back and forth. So that, absolutely outstanding. Outstanding so far for Pietro. One tire for Roman already. Jeez, okay. Um, can I get one more lap out of you, Roman? <laughs> That'd be great. Um, the last pit, we need to get like 10 laps. I, oh, oh. I don't know, man. And that's such a short rain period, too. We'll go on softs. We'll go on soft for Roman. I don't know if the AI are going to go on to rain tires or not. That's the thing I'm worried about. But uh, Roman will come in this lap from ninth place. Not doing... Oh, we also just had a... Stop, 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 stop. Uh, we also just had a collision. Does he need repairs? No, he doesn't. Okay. He made it sound like he needed repairs. Okay, well, continue. Continue. He just had a collision with Verstappen in there, so. But he's coming in on the last this lap. Pietro, you're coming in on this lap now as well. Uh, I'm feeling a little more confident about putting you on to soft. Pietro must have better tire wear management. Maybe that's a perk or something. 
Because he's doing significantly better with tires right now. So I feel a lot more comfortable putting him on the soft tires again. No mistakes for him. And yeah, so we are going to chill things out here and kind of analyze where we're at when that rain comes. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. It's probably about a four lap stint in rain, so I'm going to bring both of them in for rain tires. Um, but it's gonna be super short, so we're gonna push like crazy on those tires. And then we should be able to make it to the end of maybe a medium tire or something. So I think that's what the plan is, but we will keep an eye on thing. Uh, as soon as we start seeing some raindrops, I'm bringing Roman in right away because he's definitely in the worst position right now. But I'm, I'm just not sure what the AI are going to do is my biggest concern right now. Hit. Intermediates. Attack. I, I, yeah, I just don't know what the AI are going to do is my biggest concern right now. But we will pit with Roman. Out on the intermediates, which again, I don't know if that's going to do us any good or not. Uh, we'll stay out a little bit longer for Pietro. One more lap. Okay, somebody just pitted. Who's that? Four signs? Yeah. He's going on intermediate. So we will pit this lap for Pietro on intermediates. We will push in. Uh, we need to calm your fuel down, though. Both of you guys, we need to calm the fuel down. I, I was really pushing on fuel because I knew the rain was coming. I wanted to use all the fuel under dry tires situations. All right, we will push out. Where are we at? We are at 5th and 12th, but we still got Hamilton, Hulkenberg, Botas out there on um, dry tires. Sainz, Sainz has done a masterful job. He started on mediums, and he made it all the way up to currently being in the best position out of everybody right now. So that good on him, good on him. But I'm just trying to take advantage of this while we can. Especially with Hamilton, because Hamilton is not pitting. So we need to catch up to him. I know the tires are overheated, but I just need to be relatively aggressive with this so that we can catch up to Hamilton before the rain stops. Which it just did. Okay. Roman, I want you in this lap. We are going to go on to, let's see, we need 16 laps, 14 laps out of these. So we'll, we'll still go on to mediums here. Fast pit stop for you. Pietro. Yeah, I'm coming in with you. I'm going to be, I'm going to be proactive on this. Because I think we're, we're losing the tires here. So we're, we're going to be a little proactive on this. And come in now mistake for Roman on the rear right that's unfortunate but we will calm things down you can push on the fuel but I still have no clue where we're going to sort out in all of this honestly probably like third with Pietro Roman I have absolutely no clue where we're going to sort out Okay, Sainz just pitted, and he's still ahead of Pietro. So that that's just insane that what Sainz is pulling off here. That's such a lucky strategy. Such a lucky strategy. But I think we're pretty good on these tires till the end. I just got to manage fuel. Uh, we're just waiting for Valtteri Bottas to pit right now. There we go. So Pietro right now is on the podium. Have we had a podium yet? I don't know. Th this is insane. Roman, a bit of a disappointing race, but I do think he has a chance to maybe uh, overtake a couple people at the end. But let's just see where everything's going to go. We're going to save these tires and fuel to do like a little 
last push at the end. I do think we might be able to catch Carlos Sainz with Pietro maybe by the end. We've got to push the fuel, though. we got to be in position to do that relatively quickly. But we have better tires, so his tires are going to fall off. Realistically, we could probably push on these tires a little bit. Well, mine's up to ninth, so that's good. Eighth now, even. But we're going to push a little bit with Pietro and see if we can maybe catch up to signs, but I don't think it's going to happen. I mean, his tires are just starting to wear now. So it might happen, actually. He's still got to make it through. Oh, he's pitting. Oh, signs pit. Oh, that's great. Pietro, you're in second. Calm things down, mate. You have no competition. Botas is seven seconds behind you. Roman, you're doing great as well, but I'm going to calm your tires down as well. That this is this is this is outstanding, folks. This this is um, I I don't even know what words I use to describe how absolutely outstanding this race is right now. Um. Yeah, this is outstanding. I mean, Hamilton's running low on tires too, but we're we're how far we're 15 seconds away. There's no way that we're going to get get that back. But but white flag is out. And th this man, Pietro Fittipaldi, has had the best race in Haas history. In his F1 debut, nonetheless. If there were any questions about my decision going into this about replacing Kevin Magnussen with Pietro Fittipaldi, those should be out the window. I am a genius. Pietro Fittipaldi, second place in your first race. Best finish in Haas Formula 1 history. Roman Grigian, seventh place effort. If you hadn't had a pit stop mistake, we might have been able to do a little better. But still, that's a great effort for this team. But Pietro, man, this is the man, the myth, the legend here. Lewis Hamilton wins. I mean, that was probably unavoidable, realistically. But this man... Oh my goodness, that's outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. You know, I was getting kind of worried about this series. We've had a couple dull races, but hopefully you guys have stuck with it because this this right here is exciting, man. We've got two races left after this, but Pietro has proven that he deserves to be here now. I have no questions about why I did that. I was kind of secretly hoping Hamilton might have gotten demoted, but unfortunately not. Uh, Lando Norris did, but I don't think that had any impact on anything. But, oh my goodness, that was outstanding. And let's see points-wise. So they got 11 points, we got 24 points. So we should be past Renault in the standing. That's a podium for Pietro Fittipaldi. I, is that our first podium this year? I'm pretty sure it is. Um, I don't think we've gotten a podium anywhere else. Um, but look at that. Pietro jumped all the way to 14th in the standings in one race. That's insane. He's passed all these people. I don't know why it shows a down arrow, but that, that's absolutely insane, folks. That That's ridiculous. And we have passed Renault. And we have, what is that, an eight-point cushion over Renault after that race? Oh, my goodness. This is... Yeah, Trevor o o o Oleg Bidji, whatever that name is, is right. Go Haas Formula Racing, Eurosport, this is great. Mickey, Mickey Salazar is happy. This is, oh my goodness, this is absolutely outstanding. We needed this kind of result here, for sure. This is absolutely outstanding. Oh, I'm so happy I recorded this today. I needed something like this to happen today. But that was an absolutely outstanding race. Yeah, I don't care about you anymore, Cap. Look at all those stat improvements for Pietro. Absolutely outstanding. And he's got a huge marketability boost. I mean, Ke uh, not Kevin Roman got a nice marketability boost as well. And Gene Haas has got to be absolutely ecstatic with that result. Oh my, a home Grand Prix nonetheless for both me and the team. That's, that's absolutely outstanding. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy with that race. You guys have no idea how happy I am with that. 
Pietro Fittipaldi is the new GOAT. Clearly. <laughs> Clearly Pietro Fittipaldi is the next big thing in F1. If Has anybody ever even done that? What's the highest finishing position in a debut in like the last 10 years? Because F1 was a different thing in the past. But what, what's the highest finishing debut anyone's ever had? Because that has got to be pretty darn close. Not a debut with a team, like an overall F1 debut. That's absolutely outstanding. We got the new suspension center in last episode, I think. Uh, we just finished the suspension. So next episode we'll get going on. I think I said the brakes were the next thing we were going to do. But oh my goodness. I'm so happy with this episode. Thank you guys so much for, for watching. Leave a like down below for freaking Pietro Fittipaldi, guys. That, that, was, that was absolutely outstanding. If you want to see more... Pietro Fittipaldi, be sure to subscribe down below. Turn that red icon to gray. Click the notification bell so you get notified every time Pietro Fittipaldi gets a podium. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye.